Hey guys, welcome back to Dave's Nano Tanks. As I said in my last update last week, the frag tank has some serious algae problems in it. And there are a few things to blame, and I'm probably one of them. Isn't that the way it always goes? So I rushed this frag tank. I plumbed it into my main system, and I threw in a couple of pieces of live rock. And that's great. And I figure I cheated the whole cycle by doing that. And in a way, I did. But I started to run out of room as I was putting frags in there, so I took the rocks out. And the rocks were housing the bacteria in this system. So by removing the bacteria, I gave algae a head start, because as we know, algae can take the ammonia out of the water before the bacteria even has a crack at it. And having not a lot of surface space in this tank, uh, just basically egg crate and glass and some frag plugs. It didn't have the room for the bacteria to colonize. And I'm trying to zoom in on the algae so I can show you that it's not just green hair algae. Because it has a multiple branch system off of each stalk. And you'll be able to see it maybe as I try to focus in. So it's not just hair algae. It has this fern-like appearance. And I think it's bryopsis. So we can treat bryopsis with fluconazole. It also works on green hair algae too. So if it's not bryopsis, I'm still going to take a crack at it. But what I'm going to do is disconnect it from my main system. Because I don't want to treat my whole system with fluconazole. Uh, so I'm going to disconnect it and just run a hang on the back. So the system will have no skimmer. Because if you do have a skimmer, you'll need to shut it off for at least 24 hours so the fluconazole can dissolve completely into the water. And you'll notice 24 hours later, your water will be clearer than you've ever seen it. It's a beautiful thing. Now, you'll also want to remove the carbon because carbon will remove the actual chemical. Uh, fluconazole is actually an antibiotic. It is an azole type, and it removes a candida type of yeast fungus from the water. So because it's an antibiotic, I will also be dosing Fritz Zyme 9 about a week into the progress. So let's see what our options are for fluconazole. Now for our hobby, I have found these two sources of fluconazole. First, we have Payless Products. Payless Pet Products offers this Flunco 200 milligram fluconazole tablets. And now more branded for the hobby is Reef HD Reflux. And there say Reef HD Flu and some, some other numbers on it. But they're also 200 milligrams. So... They, they appear to be a little different, but I think they're pretty much the same thing. Um, I think it's just fluconazole. So let's take a look at the website. Now, early back in my YouTube career, I made a video about this, Payless Pet Products, and I drop the link very often in live streams anytime somebody's interested. But as you can see here, 10 capsules is $19.99. But at the time that I was making this video, there was an issue with them using credit cards. Um, their credit card server was not allowing the sale of fish antibiotics to be purchased on the credit cards. So you'll notice this huge savings if made by e-check, Bitcoin, or pay by mail. So here it is. It's 10 capsules is $19.99. But as we go down, notice if you use e-check, 10 capsules is now $12.99. So they realize it's an inconvenience, and they're trying to help you out as well. And you'll see back up here that the more you buy, the cheaper it becomes, too. Because, okay, 10 capsules is $20, but 20 capsules is only $30. So that brings it down to $15 a capsule, or $15 per 10 if you buy multiples. So let's see here. 10 capsules is $12.99. If I drop this menu down for the Bitcoin, yeah, 20 capsules is only $19.99. So they're doing you 
you know, they realize it's an inconvenience and they're trying to work with you. So I give them a lot of credit and I contacted them and asked them about the issue because I tried to order it and um, they didn't get back to me right away. Meaning right away, 10 minutes later, I went and bought reflux. <laughs> But within an hour, they got back to me and said uh, they actually knew who I was and appreciated all the links I had dropped. And they sent me that 10-pack for no charge. So that was pretty cool of them. So, But let's talk about the Reflux, too. Reflux, I found on Amazon, was the best price for that. And that's $14.99 and free shipping. Yeah, it's $14.99 on BRS, too, but BRS does not offer free shipping, as far as I know, on a purchase this small. So I'll leave a link for both of them in the chat or in the uh, comment section. And um, I imagine that the, the problem with the credit card purchase may be because if you need fluconazole for yourself, because it is a medication that humans can take for different fungal infections, you need a prescription. So the fact that you can purchase this and not have a prescription, I mean, I guess they could repurpose it. Um, the reflux mentions on the side that it's, it's not for human use, human consumption, and don't even give it to fish that you intend to eat, <laughs> basically. So, we'll go over that. And uh, I think this time we're going to try the reflux. Since I already have a fluconazole video, we're going to try the reflux on this frag tank. So I calculated the measurements of my frag tank. And the capacity seems to be about 21 gallons with very little displacement of frags and so forth so you need one pill per 10 gallons and rather than undershoot it for biopsis i would rather overshoot it so i'm going to do a 30 gallon dose that may seem extreme and reflux tells you not to overdose but i also have a hang on the back adds about another gallon and I've heard of higher dosage, and when you're using it for fish, you actually dose it every day. In this instance, you only dose it once, but you do it five days the same dosage for fish diseases. So I don't think a few extra milligrams are going to create a problem. Um, it's the fun part of trying to open the little capsules. We're going to open them up. Empty them in. And you may not even get it all in there. So definitely overdose before you underdose. That's three. That just keeps giving. But don't throw the gelatin capsules into your tank because there's all kinds of metals in with the gelatin to create time release and nothing in there can be good for your tank so one 200 milligram capsule per 10 gallons run your lights as normal remove your skimmer for at least the first 24 hours reflux even says to um, Remove your skimmer for 36 hours, I believe. And basically, as the bryopsis starts to die, it's going to be release, releasing a lot of things back into your system. This is just tank water. This is a chopstick. This is kind of my throwaway mixing tools that I use. This will be cloudy, and it will not completely dissolve in the tank water. And in about 24 hours, it'll be completely dissolved in your tank water, and I feel you can turn your skimmer back on. Reflux also states that you can use GFO during this treatment. So again, 
dying bryopsis is going to release nutrients back into your system. Be prepared. A two to three week um, treatment is required. And if you see any spots that are not dying, make sure that you use additional lights because dark areas, this, I believe this chemical is taken up during its photo process. So it's important. So you see the system here. I've got it all disconnected. There's no flow. I have a hang on the back filter. Of course, no carbon, just some bio media and a pad. And you see there is no incoming water and we're at the bottom of the bulkhead. So no water going back into the main display. And then I took out the time to mark the water line. So I know where the ATO was going to need to be topped off to. And I also need to watch dosing because this is not connected to my main tank. So it won't be dosing. So you'll notice when you pour it in, at first, no matter how well you mixed it, it's cloudy. So as you see on the top, 200 milligrams per 10 gallons, one dose. No matter what the instructions come with, you're only doing this once and it's a two to three week process. No skimmer for the first 24 hours. I think reflux says something like three days. Um, you want to remove your carbon. It will not harm your catomorpha or your macroalgae but it will destroy an algae turf scrubber because that's what it's targeting is that type of algae. So thanks for watching. There'll be links for both products down in the description and I'll do some updates on Instagram.